what's up folks welcome back to another 3d hangouts our knockoff magsafe battery so when i plug it in it will not charge uh, but with the cc <laughs> resistor it will so a perfect example for that uh, something that would not work with you know it's a knockoff so they didn't include the 5.1 k resistor we added to it too was just completely smoothing out the little snap fit portion that grabs onto the nubs so that's all nice and smooth uh, so when you're re removing this it's not gonna poke your thumb without it it would be just a naked dangling pcb with a uh, circuitry hanging around yeah. and you don't want that especially if you're charging stuff here's what that looks like with the lovely pcb modeled by you know what if you want to use this on a different project cool. any of those devices won't charge you don't know why this little device can help bring back the charging for that super simple so this is this originally was a usb key set design i respun it to be a midi controller so i thought it'd be cool added three potentiometers rotor encoder and an oled display to show some graphical user interface so now we have a little title here that says edit key one so that's the key and you have three different values here three different items that you can change from so you have the midi note you have the velocity of the midi note the item will highlight and kind of invert so now it's selected as white as i rotate the rotor encoder it changes the midi note so you can actually live play it six you go all the way down if you want to you know an octave down into the middle one the middle pot have it assigned to delay so for jam case so we have different versions of it one that's like a single color version that has like engraving of the logo and then this is like if you have a multi material printer you can do multi colors 25 edition of the Adafruit Mag Tag. We are we were tasked to make a 3D printed case that fully encases it. It's about 20 millimeters thick, nice and chunky. But this has a special feature. We haven't done this yet. A notch here that allows you to use your, your, your the tip of your finger to pull out this print and play stand. So you have this stand that allows you to kind of have adjustable viewing angles. So that works really nice. So then you have these four screws here, uh, magnet standoff. So if you want to still use these, you can still use them. So that's why we have the screws back there. Like two weeks from now, I think. Yes. We'll see you next week on Certified Thunder.